Yeah, I can't believe it's happened again. We've gone for another year. And as it comes to an end, I've decided to look back over the 45 tutorial videos I released this year and pick my top three. Now, you can guess my top tutorial video, but if you're thinking it's the one with the most views, well, you're gonna be surprised. So stay to the end to see which one wins. And make sure to let me have it in the comments if you completely disagree with my selection. So let's jump straight in with number three, and it's why raycast in the scene view with Unity. Now in this video, I show you how to perform a raycast in the scene view with an editor script and use that raycast to select points in your welds. Now you might be asking yourself, why did this one make the top three? Well, it's very particular to my circumstances. You see, I make a lot of 3D games and prototypes with AI moving around, and I have a need for extensive testing of their controllers and brain actions. Setting waypoints up beforehand, well, it has me cringing and kind of messing up on the regular. Now, couple that with the fact that you might be performing several actions in one of those tests meant messing up cost me more time and effort than I was comfortable with. So out goes the waypoints, in comes this ray casting. And as for me, this tool is a real time saver. And at the end of the day, that's what the tool business is mostly about, saving you time and reducing your wasted effort. Now I would hope that number two was a crowd favorite, but it might just be for the neat freaks out there. You see, my number two was the editor gizmo. Now this isn't a tool, but it's something that just shouts to me for clean coding within our components. It allows you to write your gizmo code in your editor scripts. You see, it's always irritated me that adding on draw gizmos goes in the component. It felt like I was shoehorning my editor work into my runtime component. Now, don't get me wrong, I do mix some editor code into my components, obviously with the prerequisite if Unity editor direction, but the gizmos always came across as a tools operation, or if you would, an editor debug presentation layer. With the introduction of this attribute to move that code to the editor class, my need for neatness keeps a little bit closer to its acceptable limits. Now, you could argue that it saves time just to stick it in the component. And that's a fair point, but I would counter that with a video that I made on getting coding quicker, where I introduced templates for making editors quickly. I'll leave it in the description if you wanna check out that video afterwards to see what I mean. So for me, neatness won out, and this went into my second place. Now I know you're all looking forward to number one and what my pick was, but before I dive headfirst into it, I wanna take a moment and thank everyone, and I mean everyone, who supported this channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and amazingly even donating to my Ko-Fi page. I wouldn't be making these videos if it wasn't for people showing an interest and getting involved in the conversation. And with those niceties out the way, let's get into what you came here for, the first place pick. And for me, it goes to the scene selection overlay tutorial videos, and yeah, I realize I'm kind of cheating here by picking a series of videos, but hey, I made this channel and in doing so, I'm making these rules. Now, I'm going to explain. These videos create a tool that allows you to launch a saved scene inside your project from inside the scene view with a toolbar overlay. That's pretty handy, right? So why did I pick this tutorial? Well, firstly, I've been finding the overlay toolbars a joy to create. You see, a lot of my tutorials come from tools in my library that have been with me for like a decade, you know, the decade that I've been working with Unity. And this tool, it got a little bonus for being fresh and recent. Another point in its favor, that it got immediately used. And I mean constantly. No more searching through the project view for the scenes folder or collapsing all those many project folders you've got open just to find that scenes folder. It's just straight and easy, a selection, from the scene view window. And lastly, and probably the most important of all, it was a viewer suggested video, which turned into a conversation, a conversation that I enjoyed having every time I released a new video building on the tool. So I'm gonna thank the initiators and the people who chimed in as each video got released. And I hope in 2023, we can have more of these development conversations as I release more of these tutorial videos. Talking about conversations, let me know which selection I got wrong here and what your top pick is. And as always, feel free to comment on what videos and adaptations you would like to see in the future. And for any of those people that missed any of the videos I mentioned, I have them here 
and in the description for you to recap. So as always, thanks for watching and I wish you all the success in 23.